On Saturday, at a rally for uh, Rick Saccone, a Republican candidate in the state of Pennsylvania, Donald Trump gave what is probably his most unhinged tirade against pretty much everybody he could think of in the United States. First and foremost, one of the worst things that Donald Trump said during that little campaign rally was that Democratic Representative Maxine Waters was a very low IQ individual. He was saying this because Maxine Waters is somebody that believes that Donald Trump should be impeached. So Donald Trump began mocking her saying she was very low IQ, that she can't help it. That's just how she is. And the crowd apparently seemed to enjoy him mocking this African American woman who's accomplished a hell of a lot more than a guy like Donald Trump ever could. Then he went on to attack the media. Specifically, he attacked MSNBC host Chuck Todd by calling him a sleepy son of a bitch. He then went on to say that we should execute drug dealers in the United States, um, something that other countries that operate under brutal dictators love to do. But as we've seen recently, Donald Trump loves to praise those dictators all across the globe. There was a pattern of behavior developing here with the president of the United States. First and foremost, his attack on Maxine Waters was not just an attack on somebody that wants him impeached. It was a racist attack on somebody that wants him impeached based on absolutely no evidence whatsoever. Donald Trump has never seen an IQ test performed by Maxine Waters. She's never done anything in public life that would suggest that she's not an intelligent individual, yet Donald Trump decided to single her out personally, even though plenty of Democrats from top to bottom, coast to coast, have called for the exact same thing. So why her? Because she's an African American woman. Donald Trump is not the kind of person who is in any position whatsoever to make fun of somebody else's IQ. Furthermore, attacking Tuck, uh, Chuck Todd Sleepy Chuck Todd, as Donald Trump says, uh, making fun of, I guess, the fact that his eyes are semi-closed sometimes. So he's attacking this guy's appearance. And if anybody has ever seen what Donald Trump looks like, you understand that this is also not a guy that should probably be mocking other people's appearances. The bottom line is this, we cannot allow this behavior to become the new normal for presidents or any politician in the United States. This is an important issue. There were children at that rally. There were children watching that rally because every single cable news outlet decided to run it in its entirety as if it was some kind of actual news program. Children are watching. Donald Trump is probably the worst role model we have ever had on the national stage, at least since I've been alive, possibly even long before that. He is a disgusting human being and the people who still support him who go to those rallies and say, I like to hear these things, they are equally as disgusting. Anyone who supports Donald Trump is a disgusting, hate-filled individual. Donald Trump has shown us what he is. And if you still think that that's okay, then you are suffering from some very serious problems that I suggest you go get checked out immediately before you become a danger to everyone else in this country. If you're thinking about subscribing to our channel, I strongly encourage you to do that. But if you're not thinking about subscribing, I would encourage you to start thinking about it. And then once you're thinking about it, actually go and do it. You can see the subscribe button right there on the screen. Or if you're watching on a different platform, go to youtube.com slash the ring of fire.